Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Gabby, and I'm back with another banger video. So, um, I'm coming on here because I have gotten quite a few um, requests and comments and messages just um, about my program, as far as me being an LPN program, LPN to BSN program, and as far as like doing Travel Nation um, as well. Or, sorry, travel nursing as well. So I'm just gonna um, hop on here and do this video um, just regarding some schools that I've looked at, uh, schools that school that I go to currently, and um, how you would be able to do them both, and just things that you need to look for when you are looking for a um, LPN to BSN program. So firstly, I'm just gonna start out um, till I got my phone here, so I have some notes, and I'm just gonna start out by telling you guys. Um, First off, you need to find out whether or not you want to be in class or do the program online. There are uh, quite a few schools um, that offer the program, offer this um, transition or this track, but um, they each school, you know, has their own requirements. So another thing you need to know is, is the school accredited? This means that the school meets the requirements and minimum standards for nursing in order for you to sit and pass the sit and take the NCLEX. The NCLEX is what you will take at the end of your program with whatever state you're in in order to get your license in that state. So the school needs to be accredited. Do you want to be in class? Do you want to be online? Or some schools offer hybrid. This means that you um, will be doing both in class and online work half and half, however they do it. Um, some schools that I, I um, am going to talk about first is Indiana State University. This school is fully online. Um, and I do just have a, a, some information about this school, these schools that I mentioned. Um, you know, I didn't go all in, all the way in depth, but I'm just here to bring them to the surface for you to um, do your own research on them. So Indiana State University is a good, is a, a good school that I know personally that people have gone to and graduated from. Um I was uh, in Georgia for some, I was living in Georgia and some nurses there were going to Indiana State University fully online. They were LPNs. I was actually a CNA at the time um, and they had no problem. They just did their clinicals. Um, I'm guessing, I can only guess, so I don't want to guess about how they did their clinicals. Maybe they went to some places in Georgia. I'm not sure, but Indiana State University is an option for you. It's fully online. For LPNs. Another one is Herzing University. Now I, I do remember graduating from nursing school and this uh, college coming and saying hey you can get your um, degree with us. So they offer LPN uh, to the BSCN track 28 to 32 months um, if, if all your credits transfer. You can do your general classes online um, and then the Herzing school has five campuses where I'm guessing you will go in for whatever reason. In Wisconsin, they have three in Wisconsin, uh, one in Minnesota, and one in Orlando, Florida. So that is Herzing University. Another one is North Dakota State University. Uh, this track requires six semesters and a total of 120 credits. Um, students complete most of the degree online, but some courses require occasional on-campus attendance and clinical work um, in the area, usually in the summer months. Most students take six to nine credits per semester. So that's North Dakota State University. Um, so like I said, each school is going to be different on what they require, whether you need to come in, whether you can go in your state, um, all that. Um, University of Oklahoma is another one. This one is a hybrid uh, format. So you take online coursework as well as attend monthly in-person classes on Saturday and um, in Oklahoma. Uh, clinical courses require weekday attendance, um, nine months to two-year program. It requires one year of employment in that state license and you, yeah, so some of these schools will require you for what require for you to have um, that state license. So you will need an LPN license in that state. Now that's not hard to do. I can also make a video on how you know you can go about go about that, or you can message me 
do a comment below and I'll um, help you with that state or whatever the case is. But it's not hard. It just takes some time for you, them to respond to you, if anything, depending on the location. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and it's not like so just say you were to go to a school, you can get that license and you can live where you want to live, come back. Do those clinicals and then come back, you know, when, as you need to, unless the school requires you to actually live in that state. So that's something else that you would need to look at. Um, now, the school that I mentioned that I went to um, is called Presentation College. So this school is completely online uh, as far as uh, the prerequisites that I needed to take that I didn't already have. As far as um, the nursing courses, I will actually be starting the nursing courses this summer as well as clinicals <clears throat> excuse me this summer um let's see they have 24 hour web access um this is why i chose this school because i desired to work as well as go to school as long as i was able to and a lot of the schools did not offer that so you are able to get um hands-on training through um, programs that the school offers so on um, one of the courses uh, you were like in a video it's like a webcam video and they set it up to where it's exactly you know like you're talking to a patient you're assessing the patient all that stuff so it was, it was really nice that course I just finished that course this past semester um, let's see they have uh, clinical partnerships with um, hospitals and so you their actual school is based out of South Dakota. I think that's their like home school. Um, but they have like a couple different campuses, I believe. And then you can live in thir you have to live in one of the 13 states or like seven states that they offer. I know some in South Dakota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Alaska. There's quite a few places that you can live, but you have to live there in order you have to have an actual address there in order to go to attend this school um it takes up to so that you're you're able to do clinicals you know wherever you live you don't have to go to south dakota to do the clinicals which is perfect um it, this takes four to six semesters and then i saw that it was like it is a private school and the tuition is eighty eighteen thousand dollars uh let's see so some other things is, uh, let me just think of like something else you need to know about the school. I mean, honestly, that's really it. You just need to live in one of the state, in one of the states. Um, I like, I chose this school because I already had the entrance test that I needed, which was the T's test that I'd taken a couple years ago. So it was still good. Um, so when you do one of these programs, it is um, very high chance that you're going to have to do an entrance test or give your scores for the entrance test that you took if it's still, um, you know, valid. I know one is called the T's test and another one is called the NLN uh, just to check your knowledge, you know, as a nurse. And you have to get a certain score, check that school for their own requirements. Um... And then if you find a school that you like that does offer the BSN program, uh, some of them, they will require that if you are an LPN, they will require you to take all those classes all over again that you took as an LPN. So if you don't desire to do that, you need to make sure you check on that um, part as well. And then lastly, I just want to mention, check to see if you want to do an LPN to ADN program, which is Associate Degree in Nursing, or you would like to do LPN to BSN, so you have the, your Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. So, like I said, I am going to Presentation College. Um, I will get my Bachelor's degree in a year and like four months. So, the rest of, after this semester, I am just going to have a year and four months, and each semester from this summer on will have clinical hours. And I can actually pull up my schedule quick to let you guys know um, what those courses are and the clinical hours involved. So this summer, it'll be adult health one and research, total of eight credits, 
five credits in one, three credits in the other, and then I'll have 45 hours of clinicals. Um, in the fall, I'll have nine credits total maternity child, mental health. Um, matern maternal child has 45 hours clinical hours, and mental health has 68 clinical hours. Um, spring 2021, adult health two, and community health, that's a total of nine credits. 112 clinical hours for adult health two and 90 clinical hours for community health and then 2021 summer and graduation I will have a total of seven credits it'll be leadership and nursing seminar it'll be 135 clinical hours for the leadership course and then nothing and then just the nursing seminar so yeah that's what I have left. I hope this uh, video was like super helpful for you guys. It does take quite a bit of research and quite a bit of um, running around. That's what I went through. Um, oh, I just want to touch on how you might be able to do tra both travel nursing and um, online school at the same time. So on my first contract, I, you know, I'm going to school. I was going. To, I'm. I currently go to school fully online. Um, I did have to go to the school one time. It was just two days long. I went there and we like were in um we're at the school and they have uh let's see like a setup like mannequins rooms where you just show your skills. So that's just two days, not a big deal. Um and then after this, I don't think I have to go to the school anymore. I just need to go to the clinical area. But anyways, so because of that, I'm doing my schoolwork online in the housing area that is provided to me by the travel nursing company go to work come home do my homework on my computer go to so because of that i'm able to do my homework uh go attend uh, my bachelor degree program as well as do travel nursing so i hope i hit all the things for you guys i thank you guys so much for leaving these comments giving me these likes and um continuing to watch my videos i hope you guys continue to support me if y'all have any questions please leave them down below and like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, bye.